Good evening. Happy Thursday. Yay. We're nearly at the end of the week. Not that you can tell. So I have something to say. I made an announcement today to a group of people that they could jump online here and watch my live at five o'clock for a very special live. And guess what? It's not going to happen. Yep. Best news read the voice there. So many of you may know, I spent a lot of the first part of my life career as a professional singer. In fact, I think I did my first solo at about five and got first paid when I was seven. Yeah, seven years of age. 50 cents to sing at weddings and a dollar to sing at funerals. Not sure what the difference is, but I wouldn't be able to get a gig now in these times of coronavirus, would I? So a lot of people have been doing live music gigs, truckloads of people. Dancers are doing live dancing things. Actors are doing Facebook lives doing acting pieces. Writers are doing reading. Um, drag queens are doing drag. It's There's a whole host of stuff going on. And a few people have reached out to me and said, Sam, you know how you do like the odd little singy bit when you're dancing in the kitchen and you might just like belt out a bit of a number? Why don't you do more of a singing live? And over the last few days, it's kind of resonated with me because more and more people have asked. And I don't do a lot of singing in this kind of environment because... I'm not really a working singer anymore. I do the odd gig because I love to do them. And I do sing in my keynotes, which is just, I love it. I get to put my two loves together on stage, which is obviously not happening at the moment. So I was like, oh, I thought about it for a little bit, thought about it for a little bit. And then this song that I was talking to a friend of mine about really just kind of hit me. And I was like, oh, yeah, I want to. I want to do that song for the community of people that watch my Facebook lives. It means something to me. I hope it'll mean something to them. So I've been having a bit of a practice because I haven't sung it for ages. And then I just went to do it because I thought, oh, I can do this. You know, everybody else is doing it. I can do it. So I just went to play the backing track while singing live to see how the levels worked and that kind of thing. Because I've never really done that on these before total stuff up it was terrible so I was watching back the video and there's like I'm here and then there's this delay with the backing track and then the, you can barely hear the backing track and then there were big bits of the backing track and I was like Sam I sh that'll learn you you shouldn't say you're gonna do something before you actually know how to do it so for any of you that I did speak to today and said Join in on the live at five o'clock to see that song. Yet yeah, not going to happen. Um, I can, I will, not now. So I am going to reach out to some of my fabulous musician friends that clearly know a hell of a lot more about this than I do, who are doing these amazing lives all the time. And I'm trying to share lots of them. If I haven't got around to sharing yours, let me know what it is and I'll, I honestly will try and do it because I think it's really, really important. And when they ha where they have, they've got donate buttons or buy me a coffee or a beer button, that kind of thing, because the arts community is really, really struggling. That's not why I wanted to do this piece tonight. I just had been asked. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll do my thing and I'll get something out there, which um hasn't worked. So <laughs> for any of you that know how to do it properly on your phone while you've got music over there, Please let me know because I feel like a bit of a twit tonight. Don't like to admit that. No, actually, I'm happy to admit that. One of the things you should really, really, really learn in life is to admit when you can't do something. Like, and it's okay. There's a saying, done is better than perfect. Like, it's a brilliant saying. Done is absolutely better than perfect. But in this situation, and I was tempted. Actually, Vanessa, you can probably help me. And I was tempted to actually still just do the song, even though it was like a bit shonky with the delays and stuff. And I thought, no, I can't actually do that because that's that's not how I would show up on a stage. That's not how I would show up either speaking or singing. That's not how I show up when I go into a workshop with anybody. Um, so in those instances, when you're putting yourself out to do something in that kind of niche, I think I needed to get the tech a bit bit more better, a bit like my ability to speak English. So <laughs> I'm not even going to say it's going to be tomorrow night. Uh, I'm sure someone will be able to help me by then. But some stage over the next couple of days, I will give you a heads up because I will be doing a singing live. Um, 
once I can work out how to get the music at the sync at the right time, honestly, Elodie can probably help me. In fact, she's good at most things, so she can probably help me. Ask yourself, you know, I like a little bit of a ask yourself on the end of these. Ask yourself over the next couple of days, when do you blurt out, I'm going to do X totally unprepared and then have to backtrack? And you know what? We all do it and it's okay. But in those circumstances, you have to, <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. We'll, Vanessa will chat and figure out how to do it. So neither of us look like dickheads. How's that? Um, <laughs> when you do do say, say you're going to do something and you're unable to do it, own up to it. One of the most powerful things you can do, especially for your confidence is to own up to your imperfections and you learn from them and you grow and you're building those confidence muscles as you do it. So tonight I am imperfectly Samantha Mary Leaf, unable to bring you the song that I really wanted to bring you until I figure out how to do it. But I will do that at some stage over the next couple of days and bring it to you. In the meantime, keep watching these lives. They're fun. Go online and watch what everybody's doing. There is so much joy out there in the world at the moment and pay attention to those things rather than all the negativity and the doomsdays and the conspiracy theories and all that kind of stuff. Stop refreshing worldometers and go and listen to one of your favorite artists do something live. Everybody's doing it. If, not it. Well, you know, everybody's doing it. Birds do it. Bees do it. You know, you know how the saying goes. So get on there and support your local artists or your international artists because they need to see your love at the moment okay Mwah. happy thursday night um go and have a cocktail on me <laughs>